In this video, I'll demonstrate how to extract water pixels from a Landsat image and then mask those out of the Landsat image uh, using Erdos Imagine's spatial modeler. So if we look at this image, this is taken from uh, a Landsat 8 image of Salt Lake City, Utah, USA area. And I chose this area because it has two very large lakes and they're also of different depths, different turbidity levels, different saline levels, and also um, different, uh, there's wetland vegetation around them at different times of the year. So to extract vegetation, I mean water, excuse me, I'm using the shortwave infrared, that's band six for Landsat 8 and band five for Landsat 4 and 5 thematic mapper sensor. And you can see here, this is band six, it separates land and water pretty well. And there's other indices you can use to extract water depending on your research objectives, but just for example's sake, uh, I'll just use a simple single, single layer to do that. So over here is the model, and we have the file input, which is band six. You can see that here, band six, and then we feed that raster into this operator, which says if the pixel values are less than 7076, then keep them. If not, get rid of them. And what does that look like? Well, we can go over here, and if you look at the table down at the bottom, you'll see that the water here is 5071. If we move over to land, that moves up to 18676. So the point is, is I've gone through the image, put this in different areas and said, all right, wherever it's less than 7076 appears to be water. So that's part of the pre-processing and exploration that you'll have to do with your study area. So we have that operator and then that puts out a raster. So it's just the mask itself. And uh, this is the naming structure here. So we get the containing directory of that original, wherever that original band six came from, turn it into text. Uh, I concatenated the term water.img on the end of it so I know that those are the water pixels and it outputs a raster. So we feed that raster into a mask and I also have the mask uh, being applied to this image here which is the multispectral image. Um, so we're going to mask those water pixels out. So and you can play around with this operator true and false uh, result in different outputs but so then I'll name it, have a raster output, and give it a run. That's finished. You'll see that in the modeler you have these checkboxes next to your operators. If it all went all right. And if we go over here into the viewer, we can check our original image here. And we can look at the water mask that we created. So all the white pixels in, he, in this tile are uh, areas that the computer is deemed as water. So you can go through and validate that on your own screen for your own area. Uh, for ours, it turned out quite well. And we can also see the final masked image here. And what you'll be able to tell is that the water areas were removed. So if I use the operator, I mean the um, this guy here, we can see the inquire tool. You can see that now these areas are deemed no data. So on land, we still have the, the file values here. In the water, they're deemed no data, so they were max masked out successfully. And you might find some errors in the image. You might find a couple pixels here and there, and you can go through with the fill tool after and clean those up and be ready to rock. Hope that's helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions, and hope you're well.